It seems the Dalai Lama is one of the most progressive of all religious leaders. He recently told a UK reporter that he would be pleased to have a woman succeed him. He said, quote, I think it would be good because you see, biologically, females have more potential to develop affection or love to others. Some scientists, they tested two person, one male, one female, looking at one sort of movie. Female was more sensitive, responses much stronger. So therefore, now we are 21st century, female have more potential, so should take more active role regarding promotion of human compassion. I need to send him over to the Catholic Church. Yeah, he's wrong. That's so anti-feminist. How so? Women have a natural capacity to be more, to be more loving and we nurturing. Do. Oh, so then do men have a natural capacity to be leaders and build stuff? You do. Men have a natural capacity to lead. But that doesn't mean that women don't. No, I mean more so than women. His point was more so Comparatively, than Comparatively? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I do think that that is actually biologically and scientifically proven, Mark. No, I was talking about the leadership part, maybe not the strong okay. part. Okay. Yeah. M my point is that, first of all, I'm happy that the Dalai Lama is interested in having a woman succeed him. I think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I think women should be leading. This isn't about whether women should lead or not. Mm -hmm. But if his reasons are that women can be loving and nurturing biologically, I hate that argument. Because once we start making biological arguments about what women naturally can do, then we do the converse for men, and we start saying that men are good at stuff that we actually are just privileged to be able to do. That, that's an excellent point. I will take that. Thank but you. I also... Do you think that, I do think there's merit to his argument. 